What's up everybody? It's Brianna Scott here with Ready Scott's Go for another Thursday pregnancy vlog. Today we have an appointment. Ready, Ready Scott's, Scott's Go! go. <laughs> So I am just hopping on here to kind of let you guys know what the plan is for today. It is currently about 1.30 and my appointment is at 3.45. We're going to have to leave the house like right around 3.20 to get there, you know, with a few minutes to spare and everything. So Jerry is actually going to be able to make this appointment, thank goodness. He was able to get home in time so that he can come. Him and Eden are in the other room cuddling and taking a quick nap together. And I am out here with my laptop getting some work done I'm going to be making a few calls and everything before we head over to my appointment I will also be showing you you guys my bump um, it has actually grown quite a bit but besides that I just wanted to give you guys a little update on how I've been feeling before we get to the appointment honestly I have still been working out baby wise body wise I've been feeling pretty good I am so tired all the time. Um, I feel like I was pretty tired in the first trimester, but I feel more tired in the second trimester right now than I did in the first. In the first trimester, I, f I feel I was more sick than anything. But this one, like I literally could sleep till noon probably if you would let me every single morning. And I just feel very exhausted. <laughs> but. At least I'm able to eat food, still no chicken. <laughs> um, I'm just barely starting to be a little bit uncomfortable, like trying to fit into my pants. And you'll see that right here when I show you my bump. There you go, there's my bump. It is getting to be a pretty decent size. Um, and I love baby bumps, so I'm so excited. For all of the people that show earlier, I'm always so jealous because they have these cute little bumps by like, 12 weeks of pregnancy and I'm just sitting over here looking like I ate a few too many tacos um, but you can see I'm finally getting like that round bump look and so I'm really excited to be able to dress it because I love having a baby bump. I'm not fitting into my jeans as comfortably as I was a few weeks ago but it's still decently small that I can wear like this dress that I'm wearing right now and you can't really tell and when I wear like a little bit baggier clothing you can't see my bump so we're still working on growing that. <laughs> I have been feeling tons of kicks from baby lately. I have been, you know, a little bit extra stressed with like my job and Eden and everything that's been going on. So honestly, I'm trying to keep myself in kind of a zen area. <laughs> but with ever with pregnancy, everything's extra hormonal, and so it's it's been an interesting, you know, few weeks at least. So emotionally, I'm, yeah, I cry a lot, <laughs> but that's just life. <laughs> and so I'm just stressed because of work and stuff. So that hasn't been the most fun, but yeah. So when we do head over to the baby appointment, I will hop back on here, take you guys along with us. We aren't going to have an ultrasound as far as I know. I do remember with Eden. Even at our baby appointments that we didn't have ultrasounds, they still brought out like that little handheld ultrasound and showed you, but I don't think they do that at this office. So if we do have the opportunity to pull out the camera and, you know, get the baby's heartbeat and stuff, we will definitely do that and give you guys a little update on everything health-wise here with Mama. I am 22 weeks, which is crazy to think because literally there's like 17 weeks and six days or something until baby is here. Like, how crazy does that sound? I don't know, it's just so weird to me how fast this pregnancy has gone and that we're already more than halfway through. I just, it's just beyond me. But in other news also, I am typing up a little list on my phone of questions I need to ask my OBGYN. I did discuss a lot about my birth plan with her like the very first appointment and she was super on board with everything. But since we went to that hospital tour, for those of you that did see that video, um, I did have a few things pop up that kind of concerned me, 
uh, first and foremost being the amount of people that are allowed in the room when I'm laboring and giving birth, which was only two people. I wanted to have my husband and my mom in the room, and then I also wanted to have a doula and a photographer. But if we're only allowed two people, then that causes an issue there. Of course, I won't be able to have a doula or a photographer. So, yeah, I need to double check with her because when I talked to the lady that gave us the tour, she told us that it's also up to the discretion of your OBGYN. So I have to see if she's really strict on that or if she will let it slide that I bring a photographer and a doula because um, I would really love to at least have a, one extra person and if I had to choose it would be the doula. Yeah, I just need to find that out. I also wanted to talk to her and just double check that I'm allowed to have this camera in there and go over a few more things about my birth plan and just make sure that we're all good to go. This pregnancy is just going by so fast. I just literally watch birthing videos and birth related stuff on YouTube all the time and I literally get so excited when I see the moments when the moms have the babies in their arms for the first time and I just remember with Eden it was just the most amazing feeling. I'm just so excited for that again. I just want a newborn so badly. I'm just ready for a baby. I'm excited. Hey you guys, we're back again. Jerry's with me this time. Jerry, say hi. Hola. <laughs> um, we are heading to the baby appointment. Eden is in the back seat and we're very excited. Jerry, are you getting excited about this baby? How I you am. feeling? I actually told Brianna the other day that I was more more excited this time for this baby than the last one. I don't know why. I think it's because the first time we had Eden, I was just a bunch of nerves. <laughs> <laughs> I was still in my last semester of college and didn't have a good job. So there's a lot of things that are nerve wracking about that. And uh, obviously, like, I want to be able to provide for my family. So, um, all things taken into consideration. Um, I think also now uh, we're a little bit more prepared for a kid, have a little bit more concept of <laughs> what it's like to have a baby around. It's true. Even though we don't expect the next baby to be the same as Eden. Yeah. You know, we know that. But uh, having that experience, I think, helps a little bit. So, how are you feeling now that we are more than halfway through this pregnancy? We're I'm 22 weeks now, which means that we have 17 weeks and six days until baby's here. I feel the same as when she first got pregnant and I feel the same as when Eden was pregnant it, when Eden I, was pregnant <laughs> yeah when Eden was in the, in the womb mm -hmm. um, which is indifferent I don't really know why I think I don't know if this is the same for all guys but for me like I have a hard time establishing the emotional connection with the baby inside Brianna the same thing was with Eden like I just didn't. like he never wants to touch my belly. He gets annoyed when I'm like touch my belly. He's like it no, feels it's, like it's not all bad. the other thirty times I've touched your belly. And to me, it's just not that it's like crazy. Like it's there's a, there's a kid in there, so like, but like I just don't have that emotional connection to it yet. Like it took me time to build that growth with Eden. They're my own intimate connection. I mean, Brianna already has an intimate connection with the thing growing inside of her. <laughs> it's true. You know, and feeling it move around and kick and be excited about different things and you know and I just don't really have that so. I think that, uh, like, I know another baby's coming. I'm excited about it. But as far as, like, the connection or how I feel about, like, the baby individually is, like, I don't know. <laughs> I guess we'll just see. It's hard to be like, I already <laughs> love it already. It's, it's so precious. It's like, yeah, it is. But I can't honestly say that I have that love connection already. Like, mm -hmm. I'm just being honest. So, yeah, we're heading to the appointment right now, and we will catch up with you when we get there. Narnia cupboard or whatever it's called. Well, these are actually for this age group. Cool. This is a long visit, especially when she has to wait on me. That third tension span's not meant for that. Eden, what do you have? What do you have, kiddo? Is that a snack? It's 
called the drive by. She's like, okay, I'm going. She now. picks it up and then leaves. Wait, Eden, you come this way. Hey, you want to go bye bye? It's this way. Come on, sweetie. It's this way. You're getting lost. She's like, I need parents. I have a sucker. Do you want me to open it for you? Yeah, no. I'll help you so don't drop it. Okay, Brianna, we just finished up the baby visit. How did yeah. it go? It went well. Actually, the baby's heart rate is lower than it was last time we did it, I think. I swear last time it was like 170. This time it was 144. What does that mean? And I don't know. It could mean that it's a boy. <laughs> so I don't know. <clears throat> Brianna's healthy. Um, the baby's looking good. Her stomach's looking good. Doctor said that. Um, it's very likely that the baby could be as heavy or heavier than Eden being born too. So Brianna has that to look forward to. <laughs> so I they did take my weight and I'm at one, I think I was exactly 160. So I don't remember what, what I was last time. I think I was like 154 or something. So that was a month ago. So it looks like I'm gaining probably about what they tell you to gain, I think at this point, which is like around a pound a week, I think. Honestly, I don't remember. <laughs> But she said my weight looks good. When she looked at my belly, she's like, she said, what'd she say, baby? I'm all baby, right? She's like, I can, I can literally feel your uterus, so. <laughs> <laughs> That's um, yeah, so, yeah, she said everything is measuring good. And when she felt my uterus, like felt the baby, she's like, That's a big baby. Um, and then I mentioned again that I had a nine pound, two ounce baby with Eden, so. Like Jerry said, it's looking like sh this is probably going to be a, it's about the same size. She said it's too early to really tell, but I'll probably have the same size, if not bigger, baby. We also found out that I can have a doula and I can have a photographer in the room. So it's that's really awesome. Scott's got big heads. She said she's fine. She's fine with having, you know, whatever people we want in the room as long as they're not getting in the way and it's not like a circus. So that's exciting. So I'm excited about that. Besides that, everything looked good, everything went well, Eden was great, and we are heading home to get some dinner, because I'm starving, like usual. <laughs> so I think we're gonna have pork chops or something tonight, but thanks for joining along for this Thursday pregnancy update vlog. Once again, make sure if you haven't already to like and subscribe, because we will continue to take you along this journey with us, and baby number two. Love you guys, bye.